still can't believe you jumped into that pool <laughs> knowing there's a snake in it. You had me so stressed out. <laughs> I know. I'm just your daily dose of fun and stress all at once. I was crazy in high school and I'm going to be crazier in New York. I can't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> I retired from being the mom of the friend group, just becoming a real mom soon. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, very funny. But in all seriousness, when I go to New York, I'm going to work as hard as I can to be successful so my dad will stop hanging over his success over my head. And I mean, I swear to God, he's a bigger narcissist than I am an actor. <laughs> like, <sighs> Yeah, you know, if I won an Oscar, my dad would still nitpick at that. <laughs> um, you don't need his approval to be successful. Speaking of which, I don't think he'd be too happy knowing Joseph Mir eloping. <laughs> yeah, he could not wrap his head around the idea of not receiving attention. He is so full of himself. <laughs> this is all very true. You know, I always had a slight suspicion you did not like Joe. I mean, he's, uh, but he makes you feel less, uh, so he's cool. I knew it! Em, I always picture you did love whoever I'd marry like he was your own brother. It makes me sad to hear either of you don't feel that way. You mean Joe doesn't like me either? Well, he just thinks chaos surrounds him and he thinks you stress me out a lot. I thought I brought a lot of fun to our friendship. You know... I just think that he's overanalyzing things. He's always been super protective. Plus, we just know how to have fun, and he wouldn't know what fun was if they hit him with a brick. Come on, Joe can have fun. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> oh, stop being sensitive, you know, just... Okay. You know, I've always been blunt with you, so... I'm just gonna be honest with you all the time about all your relationships. I always have been, and I am now, so... Believe me, I'm very aware of you and your feedback. Funny how you'll give me your opinion, but refuse to tell me anything about your dating life. <laughs> Maybe it's because I don't need advice. <laughs> right. Well, I will remember that the next time you prey upon another nice guy type. What do you mean, preying upon some nice guy type? Just because I actually have someone who's treating me nice? Don't, don't attack me for that. Oh, cut the self-righteous bullshit for once. You would get so insecure about being the only single friend in our friend group, so you would love bomb the hell out of some quiet guy who normally never got attention from girls. You knew what you were doing. You led those guys on so hard and made them think you love them, when in reality, you're just trying to stroke your freaking ego. Well, what do you want me to say? I'm sorry. I help these boys. If it wasn't for me, whether I truly love them or not, no one would have known who they were. I mean, think about prom date. Isaiah, no one knew who he was until I took him to prom that night, and now he's dating a model. I mean, they should be thanking me. Emily, before he could even be with that model, he had to get over the fact that you cheated on him. <laughs> Please, porn is not cheating. It was to him, and you knew that. And I know it was more than that. I heard about the guy from the other school. Oh, you mean that rumor that was going around? You really believe that? You're my best friend. <sighs> that really shows your character. Also, all I did was ride his motorcycle. Oh, you definitely rode his motorcycle. I think it's real cute how you still want to call it a rumor, considering the video release. Well, I did say I rode his motorcycle. Not my fault you couldn't pick up on a metaphor. And you know how my dad was that night. He was off the rails. You know, Emily, that family guilt might have worked in high school, but I'm older now. I know when someone is drunk versus when they have a problem. The most your dad had in his system that night were the propels that he has every time he goes to the gym. Well, I mean, I'm sure there was vodka in them. I heard that alcoholics get really creative and how they, like, hide their alcohol, so... I just can't believe you think I would make a drama like that. I hate drama, especially about my family. Well, for someone who does not like drama, you sure do attract it. You are so bipolar. I mean, how do we go from laughing about Miss Hoffman's class and sticking gum under the desk to attacking me about high school? Like, this is ridiculous. 
I don't understand. I mean, if you had a problem with me then, why weren't you a real friend and addressed it with me right then and there instead of blowing up on me now? Like, you're going crazy on me. This isn't just about high school. This has been going on for years, and I didn't seem to notice because I was so used to being treated like a chess piece in your game. I'm getting married tomorrow. Married! And I feel like I barely know the person that I've known longer than my fiance. I'm exhausted trying to dissect what are lies and what is the truth. It's like I don't even know you anymore. Or ever. So many people warned me about you, but you've been my best friend since I tripped on the playground in recess in the first grade. I've tolerated you long enough. Care Bear. Do you remember when you painted me that portrait of my dog? I was so happy. It was like I had a piece of him back. I started showing everyone because I was so impressed. Only to find out that your whole homeroom received copies that your guest speaker handed out in your art class. Did I stop dealing with you then, though? No. I've put up with you for long enough, and now it's my turn to find out what the truth is. So, what is it? Who are you, Em? Well, I guess this is what you could call checkmate. Thank you.